Oh my gosh, it's Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday. It is Dolly Talk Tuesday. I'm so happy to be here. It's summertime. I'm living it up. Hey, babes. Hey, Mimi Go. Hey, Joey. What's going on? So uh, today's topic is going to be about Dolly organization. So if you are new to the hobby or you're a veteran in the hobby, today's like stream is for you okay because i'm here to try to help you now i'm not gonna say i am the most organized person in the whole entire world dear god no i'm not but i'm gonna go ahead and be able to showcase some really cool things um that i do have in my arsenal and then some really cool new stuff that i found so you know it's gonna be what's well, gonna be oh my gosh hey welcome claire welcome to the channel hi yes um, yeah, we're so excited here. Um, here on Dolly Talk Tuesdays, we talk about things in relation to the BJD hobby. So if you are into these wonderful things called ball jointed dolls, you're in the right spot. Or maybe if you want to learn more about them, um, you are you are in a wonderful open space. What's up, Bean? Nocturne? Bean? A TA? What's going on? Um, so let's just jump into it here, okay? So BJD organization. As cat just appeared, as uh, you may or may be, you know, in the hobby or dipping your toe in, um, things start to accumulate quite quickly. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest, right? I mean, you will quickly find things out in Walmart or Target or a thrift shop, and you're like, "Wow, that would be great for my dolls. It would fit my dolls." So you end up like, you know, hoarding a whole bunch of eraser foods, uh, clothing that go to other fashion dolls, um, and you know, it just goes on and on and on. So I think it's important to kind of start a system for yourself uh, to kind of organize your item so that way you can easily find things and that way when you're going through your stuff, you're not like, oh wow, I should have used this. I've had this forever and I forgot about it. <laughs> That's pretty much how I live by. I don't know why my cat decided to join the stream today. If it's not my daughter, it's my cat. So everyone say hello to Luna. Hi, stream, it's me, Luna. All right, um, so let's go ahead and start with some of the new stuff that I got uh, because there's a lot of different things that you can organize. You know, and I guess more things for you to consider if you're joining, thinking about joining the hobby. Um, you're gonna accumulate eyes, BJD eyes, which are always fun because you don't want to lose any, like any of them, because then you'll be off with your pair. Uh, and it's good to organize them too, so that way you can quickly see what size they are. Uh, another thing you're gonna wanna eventually start organizing is gonna be your shoe collection. Uh, you have a lot of shoes um, as you get more and more dolls. Uh, outfits are a big one. That's gonna be a really, really tough one. And that's one of the big ones we're gonna talk about today because, oh my God, I've got so much clothes. It's not even funny. And then it just starts, you know, you just start throwing it in a drawer somewhere. So, <laughs> so organizing your clothes, um, organizing your wigs this would be another good thing to start looking at and separating. And then we could do literally a whole video on organizing your face up stuff if you start that. I mean, each, you really could like break off and do subcategories with like the hobbies that you're in within the BJD hobby. Because some people start, you know, making wigs. So you need a place, you need stuff to organize your wig supplies. Some people do face ups, you know, so you need things to organize your face up materials. Um, some people start making eyes, which is a whole nother realm. So I mean, the list goes on and on. So hopefully today with some of the stuff I'm gonna show you um, that I have conveniently put together for you can help you in any of those uh, realms that you may start or may have. So as you can see, we got chat, chat's bumping here. We're doing a lot of stuff. Fanta TA says, lol, I just went through my doll junk. I mean, stash, and I'm still posting things to sell. I had so much. I know, Fanta TA has a lot of really good stuff on uh, Instagram, so if you haven't seen their 
stuff. Check them out. They have a lot of cool stuff for sale. Um, yes, a wild Luna did appear. <laughs> She's here. Hey, Kitty, what's going on? Um, yes. Yeah, that's, I think, I think that's how people accumulate things as well, is that, you know, you see people sell things secondhand and you're like, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna get that. I can use that. Nadine, the love of my life. Ah, yes. <laughs> Nocturne, Sam says, there's a reason I need a full room just for my dolls and face-up shop. Yes, if you don't know, uh, Nocturne um, is a face-up artist in the community, and uh, they also sell eyes. Really, really amazing stuff. Actually, I'm going to put the cat down. Actually, the eyeballs that my doll here, um, CV, has on right now are actually eyes that Nocturne made. So I'm going to kind of just show you guys the beauty the beauty, beauty mesh, so beautiful, so glittery, so wonderful, so magnanimous, and my camera refuses to focus in on me. I hate you, camera. You're the worst. I hate you. Oh, oh, it's okay. Yeah, those are the eyes. Well, not turn. So beautiful, so magnanimous. So yes, shout out to you. All right, so let's talk about new stuff that I found. So per use. All right, not gonna lie, the love of my life, the Daiso. There was a lot of really cool stuff and I actually, this last time around, went in with the purpose of looking for doll organization items for, you know, from the Daiso there. So again, if you've never been to the Daiso before, the Daiso is basically a Dollar Tree, but it's like a Japanese Dollar Tree. Um, they have them throughout like different parts. Um, I don't actually know if they're in others like what other states like have Daisos, um, but yes, the the Daiso has a lot of really cool stuff. And so, I went up and I picked up a couple of items because in my last video that I did, where I started like organizing some of my stuff, um, I had a stream where I just did the initial breakdown of my drawers. I found I have a lot of shoes. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a really big problem with doll shoes, okay? Uh, and it's not even like for like my larger BJDs, it's my Obitsus, which is funny because I like hardly ever, ever change out their stuff. So I don't know why I have so many shoes, but I have a lot of shoes. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I need to put something in there. Right now, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you the large organizing shelf thing I have for these things. But this is how we got it the last time around, okay? This is what we were able to accomplish last time. Ooh, Nady says we got a Daiso. It's 1.5 hours away. I think, Nady, aren't you in Canada? So maybe Canada has one. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so this is my shoe collection. And as you can see, I started throwing all my tiny shoes into these little, like, this used to be like a container that would hold other containers. And, um, yeah, so this is what I need to organize. So with that set in mind, I thought, okay, maybe like a bead box or like a jewelry box would be good. And so at the Daiso, they had this sectioned case. And I liked it because it had a little handle on it too. Um, and it has little compartments for you to go ahead and put items in. Kind of like a pill box because it kind of opens up like this. But it's got bigger container like space here for something else to go in. So I'm gonna just slide that off and I'm gonna show you. At first I thought, well maybe the slots are big enough to fit in um, like USD size shoes. But I don't think, I'm gonna test that out right now, that theory out right now, and I feel like I'm gonna be incorrect. Oh yeah, no bro. Oh, that's not happening. So it can't really fit a USD size shoe in here. Um, they're still a little bit too big. It would have to go like this, and that's gonna smush it down, so I'm not down with that either. But I mean, whatever, it's fine. My original intention was to go ahead and put the little Barbie shoe deal dudes in here so that way I could go ahead and actually have them paired off because right now I kind of just threw them in here 
and now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm missing some shoes, to be honest with you. So anyway, this is a great, I think, little find. And you can get them. You don't have to get them from the Daiso. I'm going to show you some other places, too, that you can find little pill boxes. But I mean, pretty much anywhere. Or if you just look up, like, pill boxes or, like, jewelry organizers, things like that are really good to store in tiny supplies. And I think it's always good to get them clear so that way you can quickly look in and see what kinds of things are inside of your containers. Kitty says that looks like it would be good for eyes as well. Yeah, I think so too. Um, again, I had purchased this with the intention for uh, my shoes because I have so many tiny little shoes. But definitely, yes. Um, my eyes are actually in a large, like, a bead container, like a bead sorter. And I can show it to you guys here in just a second. But this is kind of, I guess, just the idea for this. So that way you can see. I could put multiple shoes. I'd probably put, like, only two or three pairs. So that way it doesn't get so confusing. But um, that is a great way to organize. Um, I did happen to buy, they had a couple of different styles. So they had this one too that had longer compartments in it. And I think you can actually, because I didn't get to open it and play with it, but this one has sliding little panels, which there's a lot of containers that are built like this now to where you can take out the little middle like piece here and put it in a different like position so you can make like smaller compartments or larger compartments and I got this because I was like oh man I'm gonna have to make larger compartments because some of my doll shoes are like boots so I need to get a bigger size in there so I think for this guy in case you're wondering about our larger ones because I'm always wondering about large shoes and how to store those I think it's it's kind of tough to I wouldn't like buy a whole container just for like the SD shoes, just because they take up so much space. I think honestly, it's just better just to line them up like in a drawer, like you would on like a shoe rack. Um, but these tinier ones, I would definitely recommend putting them off into like some sort of container. I think the USD shoes kind of fit nicely in there though. So if you wanted to make larger compartment spaces for like the USD shoes, they can kind of fit in there nicely. Um, and I think it's honestly really important to put um, smaller accessories away like this because just like, you know, oxidation changes our dolls, it changes accessories over time too, let me tell you. Um, some of these shoes, like the glue that they're made with, uh, changes over time. Um, and some I found in some of my shoes, not all of my shoes, but in some of my shoes, it starts turning like a yellow kind of color. Um, even like the, I don't want to say plasticky parts, but like the rubber parts of the shoes start getting really hard also um, and start changing in color as well sometimes. So I think it's just, you know, it happens. But I mean, I think maybe putting them in a container kind of will help that a little bit along the way as well. So little containers like this that can um, have movable, slidable separators, I think are really helpful for smaller, still like your little accessories um, that you have. So, oh my God, so many things, so many things to talk about. Uh, let's see here. So you guys are talking about Daiso's. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So you guys do, you, it looks like you guys do. Fanatius says, I actually threw a few things away or things out because 10 year old vinyl is cracking off. Yeah, so I mean, I think it happens over time. I don't know, I haven't tested it out to see if I were to put it in a box, would it help, you know, keep the item in better condition? Like, I feel like maybe it should because it wouldn't be as ex exposed as if it were just sitting in a drawer openly, but I mean, I still think at the end of the day, it's it's good to keep your stuff um, put together. I love the pink boots. Yeah, they're actually from um, a, a doll series called Juku Couture, um, and I have like two of them, and they were super duper cute, and they came with the best accessories ever. So cute. Casta. 
uh, jointed design says for my doll shoes I like those big scrapbooking boxes that you can label I have one for all my MSD shoes and one for my clothes now ah yes I have something I'm actually gonna show you that's gonna be really cool look I guess kind of is the sister to that scrapbooking box um Fantia says, oh man, I kept some spare parts kept in a drawer and they are a shade lighter than some of my dolls. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the other stuff that I have here. So, anyway, so those little things are all great stuff, but at the end of the day, if you're looking to kind of put stuff away quickly, uh, they have a whole bunch of different things uh, that you can find online. Again, I found this one at the Daiso. But zipper pockets are also really, really good for organizing stuff. Um, again, I tried there at the Daiso specifically looking for clear, um, and it was kind of hard to find. Um, I found this one that has a clear pocket here in the front. And then if you open it in the back, it has that netted mesh pocket. Um, for stuff like this, like there's so many different things that you could put in here. Like you could do wigs in here, you could put clothing in here. Um, my intention for this was to put clothing in here because um, I think that's the next like big, big thing that we look to organize, which is clothing. And I think that it's good to have these because you could literally fill up a drawer and then just kind of um, file like a, like a filing cabinet set them up inside of there and just kind of have all your outfits put together and maybe even if you wanted to go like a step further you could get like some labeling tape or a permanent marker and label your bags like specifically what it is so maybe like this if I had bags like this I could label it like MSD set or I could be like MSD flower dress combo whatever and maybe I'm gonna go ahead and put um, some of those items specifically in this one that I labeled. Um, I think I would like to get more of these. I only grabbed this size, um, but they make other sizes as well uh, because I feel like I was trying something out for the larger scale dolls and I'll show you here in just a bit. But the zippy pockets like come in many different sizes and stuff. You can actually get some with like different colors along the rim um, that could help with organization as well. So yes, 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 yes. Um, let's see, what else? So going alongside with the zippy pockets, I'm gonna show you one last thing that I found at the Daiso, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you some links here in just a bit. So another big thing, which kind of goes hand in hand um, with the cardstock organization um, is using things that are for storing paper or important documents. Um, so like Jointed Designs had mentioned um, like the scrapbooking boxes. Things like that are really good um, to help with organization and they actually had these A4 like document case. It's for like A4 size um, I guess documents or papers um, and it's like a thin case that you know you can put essentially you're supposed to put like a specific size paper or document in here and I was able to shove like some outfits in here and I put three like costumey designed outfits in here um, I kind of like it the only thing is is that I didn't, I purchased it with the intention to try to put them like a filing cabinet in my dresser, my little drawer thing, and I'll show it to you right now. So this is my current tub right here. I'm going to put this off to the side. This is my current tub that has my larger scale size doll clothing in it. So you can see I have a lot. So this is why I'm like, okay, yo, I need to get organized here because this is a hot mess. Okay, so, so I thought originally, I was like, oh man, there's a little handle, like it's clear, like this is great. I, it looks about the size of my drawer. So originally what I had planned to do was I was gonna put these inside of here like this, and I wanted to get several of them and like, you know, line them up, line them up in here. And that way I could like either on the handles here 
like write what it is specifically like you know SD pants or like SD girl, girl sets you know or something like that on the handles here um, but unfortunately for me it did not sit in this drawer nicely it actually kind of sticks up as you can see so it's not going to go into my sliding drawer system at least I don't think it will I looked at it and like there's there's like a very slight gap um, from the top to the to this next drawer here or the bottom to the next drawer so ideally I would have liked to have a system like that and again I'm gonna show you here in a bit some links but they do actually well they do actually pre make boxes that you can have like these different little skinny plastic paper or document holder containers in um, and that way you can just basically have a case like with a bunch of these in there dedicated to maybe like a specific doll or maybe you can organize it to be like for a specific size um, so I think I'm gonna keep looking and seeing what else I can do but that was my original idea was to have it like that and it just opens like a clam case it just opens like this and it'll keep your clothes inside of here I kind of had to um, maneuver them around because I shoved three really um, fluffy things in here <laughs> like this dress and like the other fluffy tool dress so I kind of had to sit it down before I closed it um, in order to make sure that they all kind of sat in there um, but you don't even have to do something like as crazy as this and putting like trying to shove three I think it would even be as a nice like display piece like if you had like a set um clothing like so for example I have like a full set here that's like a ring doll full set so maybe if you put like the whole full set in here like your shirt the all the accessories that go with it like it comes with like these little leg cover things you know you put that in there it had like a really nice jacket and you can put that. <laughs> I don't even know how to like hold this jacket. Let's see. Let's hold it like this. Yeah, maybe this one should have been at the bottom. Hold on. Like this, like this. You know, and then that way you know that this is specifically your full set, right? So this is like my, ooh, my fancy. And then when you label it, you're like, oh, it's the ring doll full set captain uniform I mean I don't know so you can kind of organize it like this too and I think this is this would be like a really nice way to keep your stuff safe and um, neatly organized and you can just you know line them up somewhere find a drawer hopefully they can fit it because I did not <laughs> but you know I get an A plus for trying so that's what it is um okay what can I tell you next okay so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just show you is some of the stuff online that I found because there's so many things um, out there that I think that you know it's it can be definitely used for us here in the doll hobby so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of that Rene Rene first I'm gonna go ahead and show you the organizing system that I have in the corner of my room. So this is what replaced my rainbow cart. Um, I got it off of Ikea and as you can see, it wasn't too horribly expensive. It was $83. Um, I don't remember if that's what I paid at the time, but um, it comes with, you can actually purchase like any, like you can buy any combination of the drawers. And so that's why I actually ended up buying one large tub for the bottom. And then the rest of them, I have these little skinny drawers there. So just one of the many organize, organization things that you can use um, and install. A lot of people love using Ikea for doll stuff. Um, there's a really famous bookshelf that everybody and their mom fantasizes over and I fantasize over until I finally was just like, whatever, I'm just gonna put them on, on floating shelves. It's this one here. So these are the Billy shelves. So if you're looking to organize your dolls in a shelf, a lot of people really like using 
this IKEA shelf specifically because you can install it with the glass in the front and so you can actually see your dolls um, sitting there. So it's really, really cool. I really like this shelf, but it was hard for me to decide because putting in a, a dresser or like a shelf in my room was gonna eat up more space. So to me, I thought it'd be better to put them on floating shelves instead. It's just, this is definitely a nice option for organizing your dolls specifically because um, they won't get as like, you know, dusty and stuff because they're inside the little case, which is nice. So yeah, it's really cool. That's the, that's the book case of fantasy that everyone loves. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up? Yeah, awesome storage. Yes, there's a lot of stuff. Hey. Um, all right. So that's that. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff you can check out on Ikea. Um, I used to keep them inside of the little um, square box shelves. Also, my dolls themselves. I can't remember what it's called right now. Box shelf? I don't know if it's... It's, it's from this series of box shelves like everybody everybody uses it I can't even find it right now but it's like this one where it's like the four little boxes ah here we go just kidding calyx that's the name this is another one that I used to use I don't use this one anymore um, but I had them displayed here on the top and then I used to also put them inside of these little boxes as well um, this is a really great one too for you know displaying your dolls like themselves because the bigger ones can sit and stand up here and then your other ones can fit into the shelves and then you can either use these for storage which I did use the bottom for storage and I bought like little pull out things as well um, because I thought they were really great and amazing and awesome so um, and then I actually ended up putting like doll boxes up here and I had them sit on doll boxes so they kind of were a little bit more elevated um, if you look at some of my older videos, you can see um, me using a shelf that looked like this. And uh, yeah, I kind of miss it, but I also like having a lot more space in my room. So yeah, that's a definite good one too. So yeesh, 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 yeesh. Um, moving on, I'm going to go ahead and show you my Amazon recommendations because I added a whole bunch to the BJD organization section. So if you haven't checked out my Amazon page, you are more than welcome to check it out in the description down below. Um, there's a link to it. Uh, and basically I have like a whole bunch of stuff that I've purchased that I have tried out. Some of it I'll be honest with you and I'll tell you flat out if I have or haven't um, tried out. But there's a lot of cool stuff if you're looking to start doing face ups or you're looking for restringing supplies, um, accessories that I've purchased for my dolls off of Amazon, um, you can find it all here as well. But I'm going to direct you towards the BJD organization section. And in this section here is a plethora, a playground, a wonderland of BJD organization for you to check out and kind of take a look at. Um, some of these items, I have things that are similar to them. Uh, and then some of them I have seen in real life. Uh, but I have not used them. I don't have them specifically in my room for my dolls But maybe this will be a great thing for you guys to take a look at um, and get some ideas from and uh, Yeah, if you if you want to see them you can check out my link. So let's take a look Take a little little drink. So as I mentioned, you don't have to wait for the Daiso. You can actually go um, and find these zippy pockets in different places, but these specifically this is what I was looking for at the Daiso I was looking for a clear like a completely clear zippy pocket and The one I, the thing I like about these in specific too is that they are larger than the zippy pocket that I got So these are like an 8 by 10. So if you imagine like a piece of paper That's how big these are and it's really nice. I think this would be fantastic and another great option for you to use like if you're trying to use like a filing system and you have like a drawer um, that you can stand them up and kind of put them in there uh, with your outfits. So I am seriously thinking about purchasing a set for myself now um, to try out in my little cabinet pull out thing um, to see if those will fit nicely in here because I feel like they should. It's like a standard piece of paper so it should fit in there but Yes, we're all about organization. So <laughs> this is a great one. And again, it comes with 12 um, K 
pieces. So you get 12 of them, which is really nice. Um, and then, like I said, they're clear, which makes things a lot easier to take a look at stuff. So, yeesh, what is that? Um, another one, so like I was telling you about the A4 um, plastic containers, uh, you can get like the little plastic containers that are for like photographs and you could put clothing sets in there too. So for example, your USD friends, this would be, I think, a perfect size for you. And maybe you'll have like a USD trunk or a USD box with these little like um, photo boxes inside with all your little outfits inside of them. I think it would be a really good thing for um, people that maybe are really into that specific size because uh, you can have these boxes like stacked up and um, you can go ahead and put in those outfits there and kind of like how they're labeling it here, like with the date, you can go ahead and put in your, your label. Um, again, also since it is designed for keeping photos safe, um, that's another, I guess, pro uh, is it'll definitely keep your outfits safe. So I think if anything, you know, let's say, you know, God forbid, you know, you have like a water line bust or something, it should keep your stuff um, fairly safe in there too, which is cool. Yeesh. So yeah, and they make different sizes of these too. So I'll show you here in a hot minute too. Um, how that there's other other ones here as well. So these are kind of similar to the ones that I have here, like the A4 boxes that I have. Um, and you'll see that it's labeled also A4. Um, that's just, I guess, that document science. Don't quote me. I really honestly don't know the whole science behind it or the marketing behind it, why it's labeled as an A4. Um, but I just know that they have different labels, like for, I guess, documents that are commonly put into certain sizes or whatever. Um, but this is another one. Um, so these are all basically going to be like this size that I have here. Um, but they're little snappy plastic um, containers that, you know, you can stack and you can put um, things inside of there as well, which is really cool. So I like that one also. Um, this one I feel is really cool too. You could put, since we're talking about like BJDIs and BJD um, like tiny shoes and things like that, getting something like little jewelry box organizers I think would be really neat as well. Um, I was keeping mine in a like a mini Tupperware. So like these are my little mini Tupperwares. Ooh, these are my dolls. So these are like my little mini Tupperwares and I was able to put like a pair of shoes in here, but these are like extreme, extreme. This is not even like, it's like a branch of USD maybe, um, but they're really tiny. Um, so, I mean, you could do something like this in those boxes or, Sorry, I was like, let's just go grab my eyes. Um, or you can go ahead and put like eyes in like containers like this. So using stuff like that could also be a good um, way to organize eyes. Um, especially if maybe like you're looking to sell too or, or whatnot. So, um, but this is kind of like how I was telling you guys about my, my eyes. Let me show this to you guys really quick. My eyes <laughs> are like this. Um, I put them inside of like a jewelry, like a bead box container thing. And then it, on the rims, I just wrote like what size goes into which little pod area. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of how I did it, but it's because I had a whole bunch of generic acrylic eyes. So I kind of just was like, yeah, and I just threw them all in there. Um, but if you're looking to store like specific ones, like, so these are like my fancy eyes, you know, you can um, buy separate containers like that. And I think that's really, really helpful um, to have for small item organizations. So, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that's what that is. But these are really cool. I really like these. But nothing beats those, those plastic containers. I don't know where to find them. Nothing beats these, dude. And I feel like I saw, I can't remember. I think I showed them to you, Bean. I think I found them online. I don't remember I found them online or not. But you know, um, when I ordered the eyes off of Amazon, um, which are these, the eyes that are in the, um, I'll go back to it later. But the eyes, they, they had these containers and I would love to use more of these containers for my eyes specifically. 
because these are so neat because they have the little like, it's like a plastic here um, and it stretches over like what's on the inside here, but what a way to display like your eyes. And it's got such a thick rim on this part here that you can probably just stack them or put them in a drawer somewhere and then whoop, like take them out and you can um, view them that way. But what a really neat way to look at this, you know, to have um, storage for your, for your eyes that way too. I feel like I looked it up. I don't know, Bean. Hit me up if I did. <laughs> Hit me up if I did. So I don't know. Will they get scratched being in the same container? Katie, that is a fantastic idea. That is a fantastic point. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. They, I could totally see that they could if they were like really tossed around. I honestly haven't like seen any like super stupendous like damage for mine. Um, but again, that's why I think it'd be best like to get something like, oh God, you get something like the, um, the multiple storage, like little containers that are there here like this. If you have really high end eyes, because you're right, Kitty, sometimes people purchase like really high end eyes and you definitely wouldn't want to just throw them <laughs> in a box like this. Um, so I think it's good to get separate containers like this um, to put in those more valuable eyes um, so that way they don't get scratched or scuffed or harmed in any shape, way, or form. So yeah, it looks like something for slide archive, the framed boxes. They do, right? Like a, like you're gonna put them in like a slide and see what kind of organisms are living in there. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Great, great point, Kitty, great point. All right, um, alongside with that, I forgot who it was. Was it you, Fanatier, or was it you, Nady? One of y'all, I thought it was one of y'all that introduced me to these kinds of boxes. It's basically like a snap box, or I don't know if it was one of y'all, but it's a snap box that like kind of builds on each other. And you can, they're larger, as you can see, that you can move the slides kind of similar to that other one that had the little dividers that you can move around to make bigger spaces, um, which I think is really cool. And I just think it's awesome that you can just essentially just stack, 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 and then snap the top, you know? And then, you know, you have this really cool, like bigger box with all these cool stuff inside of them. So um, this is another really cool option that you can use um, for organizing. And I just like that it's really customizable that you can use that divider um, and place it where you'd like. Um, so that way you can put different items in there. So yeah, I don't know. Somebody, I don't know. Somebody showed it to me and I was like, wow, that is really cool. <laughs> they had like a whole bunch of things like snapped together. I don't remember who it was. If you remember, talking to me about it, give me a shout out because I don't remember as somebody did. Um, this is another one. This, this one has seven layers. Like you can get real crazy with it. Like I think it's super neat though. So it's like, it's like that same one that I showed you before, but this one has seven layers. So I think that's really cool. <laughs> I would love to do it. I mean, I use those, but I don't know if it was me. <laughs> somebody did. I don't know. Somebody showed it to me and it stuck with me. And I was like, dang, that's boss. Cause I saw all the little things like snapped together. It's really cool. That's a really awesome one for you to check out too. So, um, so I did want to show you these. This is not exactly like what I got. I literally bought mine. Like I have some of these that I bought from like the Dollar Tree. You don't have to go extra and buy like these that have like sauce protection. <laughs> Basically it has like a suction cup on the on the outside so nothing gets out. I mean you could if you want to. Um, but I just like and I just wanted to show you like how they make smaller containers like this that you can um, use to put in different stuff, you know. Um, in some of these containers also I use them for BJD accessories, like so for like the doll food that I find. Um, I have jewelry, like BJD jewelry that, that I have. Um, I put them inside of here uh, into these little boxes.
for storage and that's what I use them for. So you can go extra and get like something like this, um, but you can literally find like tiny little Tupperwares wherever you go really, so. Oh, Claire, I'm so glad the storage ideas are neat. You're enjoying them. Yes, there's so many options and things that you can do, so. Yes. Yeah. Um, Fan of TA says, I feel like it would depend on the material. I think if you put glass and acrylic together and really jostled them, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I think, but I think Kitty's right too, though. I think it's good to separate the, like the really high-end ones. Inside of this here, I have like my good eyes, but it's like, I have one pair of Volks eyes that I got a million years ago, but one of the stems broke off, broke off before I bought it. Um, and then I have like some other just like random glass eyes that are like from Alice's collection. <laughs> I consider those my good eyes. <laughs> because my really, really nice ones my dolls are already wearing, so <laughs> it's okay. Um, that's what that is. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, so this is actually one of the other kind of systems that I used to have too. Um, it's like a storage rolly cart and I have um, a double side, like a double, like one that has two sets. Um, and I use, I used to use this one too, like for my organization, but I will tell you right now, I'll tell you from firsthand experience. The thing I didn't like about my cart, which is why I went out and got a shelf from Ikea, is that over time, and maybe it's just me, or I don't know if anybody else has had this experience with these specific types of, types of carts, is that they get really loose. Like mine got really, really loose, like over time, like I would have to sit there and continually tighten the screws every now and then because the whole thing would just go woo, 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 like a thing of jello. Like it would just like swerve, like just blah, 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 like back and forth. And the other thing that got really annoying too is that these shelves, the plastic with that metal, started I guess wearing or something like that and it wouldn't slide in sometimes or it would go off track really easy um, because it was loo it, it was getting loose and because I guess sometimes it just I don't know I don't know if the metal bent out of shape or what it was um, I like it and I still have it it's inside of my closet uh, but it did make me like after a couple of times like when I was organizing stuff or when I put things in there and the drawer would get off track and stuff, um, it made me wanna get a new one. But again, my cart has been with me for like, I got it when I kind of started the hobby. So like it's been with me for like 13 years or 10, 10 to 13 years. And it previously belonged to somebody else. So I got it secondhand. So the shelf could very well be like 15 years old or something like, and I don't even know. I, I really don't know what the true age of my shelf is. But if anybody else has um, shelves like this and you know, you can tell us firsthand in chat like what your experiences are with them. I just know that that's how it kind of fizzled out with me. Is it like, it just was really hard over time because it kept on getting really wobbly and stuff. Ah, Allison, there you are. It says, same here with the rainbow ones and the drawers were a pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Baka says, or my friend Debs, says, my eyes are kept in separate containers and in three different drawers according to size. One eye drawer shares the, with jewelry supplies and my roller cart also got loose and the drawer is collapsing. See, so yeah, that's how I'm like, ee, take it as you will. Like, I mean, they're really cool. I really like mine. It's just, it did start wearing down on me. So just kind of, I have it up here just so you guys can see it, but just know, you know, they're like the Ikea stuff and then the other stuff I'm showing you today are really good options to explore as well. Um, some other stuff, I'm gonna show you one of these guys here. Um, I have seen teachers use these a lot, a lot. Like we put paper clips, we put stamps, band-aids, <laughs> everything in these little drawers. But I don't own one, but I think they're really cool. And all of these little drawers like pull out and like you can put stuff in there. And I thought this would be such a cool thing to have on my desk. I just don't have space anywhere for it. But if I had a larger hobby room, like I would definitely get one of these. And I think I would like to store like eyes and like other cool stuff in here. 
um, maybe like for those who are into making BJD jewelry, this would be a cool thing for you to have. Um, I feel like you could probably even slip um, a couple of different things if you do stuff with the deco art with your dolls. Um, this would be a great place to kind of store them, but it's really neat. I've seen them in real life and I've seen like teachers do really crazy cool stuff with them. And I always thought like, man, this would be a great thing for me to organize BJD stuff with. <laughs> but instead, you know, teachers use it for other stuff. But Just so you know that it exists, I added it there for you as well. And they made a smaller version too. So there's a smaller version if you don't want to dedicate yourself to that large one. Um, there's this tinier one and this lady's like, yeah, I use it too. <laughs> like, um, it's really nice and it has 16 drawers in it. So this is a really cool things to, you know, thing to have. Uh, Jointed says you could store BJD body parts in those. <laughs> I just love the things that we as hobbyists say that normal people would be like, what did they say? Like, yeah, and it's great for storing body parts in. Like anybody else would be like, what the heck did they say? Like, what? Um, Prodigy said, I sure Nocturne doll hasn't said hello this evening. She's just lurking. So as her husband, I'll say hello for the both of us. Oh, she did though. She did say hi. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up? Yeah. So this is a really cool set. And as you, as you saw with the other one, you can get them in way more capacities. Like you could go crazy. Okay. Look at how crazy. That's not pink. That looks red. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah, things you don't hear every day. That is essentially what that is. Yeah, but I could totally see putting body parts in there. I mean, real talk. You could put hands, feet. Yeah, that does sound really weird coming from the outside. You shouldn't say that out loud. Too loud. <laughs> but yeah, body parts would be really cool with that. So I'm just saying, you know, body parts, put them in there. Um. Oh, look, and there's the rainbow card. I did put that bad boy in there. Um, and then some of these other things I think uh, are older stuff that I had in there that kind of I need to update But these are some other just like generic things that I stuck in here um, that have previously already been in here So like the jewelry boxes are here um, This little three tier pull out drawer I use I have one that I use like and I have like face up supplies I used to when I first started doing face ups I used to actually just put them in there and somehow <laughs> Somehow, you know, as time went by, I have way more face up supplies and it doesn't fit in there anymore. So I kind of put um, customizing tools in there now. So that three drawer um, thing, I put like my Dremels, um, I have some files, um, I put some of like the little sanding papers in there. Um, so that's what I use that for now. Um, yeah, then of course you gotta have. You gotta have your labeler, and I don't know where my labeler went, my dynamo that I have. But yeah, I have that labeler, and that's also been like a game changer too, being able to label out like your stuff. Um, so that way you can organize it even better. Even better. -er. Um, but I will say this, if you are intending to put anything on the walls, and not this specifically, but please make sure, especially since you're putting up dolls or things that will hold up your doll items or whatever it is that you choose to mount please make sure that you do your research on like how heavy it is and that what you need to mount it into the wall like I ain't gonna go Home Depot on you but like seriously you definitely would not want to put up a shelf like with just a nail and a hammer and that's it like and then the shelf fall and your $500 doll is on the floor like chipped are broken so just make sure that you have like anchors in there and it, and it can abide by whatever the weight is that you're putting up there um pretty much all my shelves and then the ones that are holding my larger dolls um my husband put them up for me he helped me do that because it's like it's scary <laughs> like i don't i did not want them to fall that was the only other thing that i was worried about when I was thinking about how to organize my dolls themselves, um, and I came to the conclusion that I wanted floating shelves. Uh, but yes, you do have to be very careful with that, so please make sure that you um, take a look at that. So, just what that is, you know? So, I don't know if this goes back. Oh, it did, okay, great. So yeah, if you have not checked out my Amazon list, like, please feel free to do so. Like, they're, 
there's so many things that I have purchased and stuff that kind of um, was just really good stuff, you know, that I have found on Amazon. Um, again, you don't have to purchase your stuff through Amazon. Um, if it gave you an idea today and you find it somewhere locally, that's awesome too. It's perfect. Um, but I do have like a list, several lists and things like that started for you here for your convenience to help you out. Um, for those who are new, for those who are old into the hobby, um, to help you organize and also just other stuff, um, relating to the hobby. So yes. Oh my God. That was so much organization. Yep. So much. Oh wait, where's your Amazon list? It's in my, um, distinction, dis it's in my description bar. Um, you can also take a look at the bottom part of your screen. Um, it's there. It's shop. It's Amazon, I think, dot com or Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Amazon dot com backslash shop backslash Assemble BJD. And you can take out the you can check out the list from there. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I've never used this feature before, but for the last nine minutes, if you guys have any questions for me, um, whether it's about BJD organization or if it's about anything else, uh, I'm gonna open it up for you all to kind of ask away questions. I've never used this feature before. We're gonna learn. Oh my God, what did it do? Oh my God, it made like a thing. There's like a thing here. Whoa. I didn't know it was gonna do this. Is it gonna put it on top of my video? What? This is neat. Someone ask a question. <laughs> I'm like, quick, quick, ask me something. I want to know if this feature works. Is it going to pop up somewhere else that I'm going to be like stupid, like looking around for it? I don't even know. Around? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where it is. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you, the sale is still going on. So if you haven't checked out the shirts, everything on my store, which is, um, on my Etsy is 10% off. So you can check it out and you get free shipping right now. So please check out my Etsy. Oh my God. Select question. Did that work? Oh my God. This is so cool. What the heck? What is your favorite doll organization item? Um, I think my favorite organization item has to be my ikea shelf i think it's really nice and it's gonna be amazing once i actually get it organized <laughs> because right now if you were to look at it and i'll take a picture and put it on my instagram um it's kind of organized it's getting there uh but i still need to label things and after that i think i'll be i think i'll be way happier so yes thank you for that question thank you all right <laughs> let's do it to designs Oh man, this is so cool. I didn't know I could do this. Well, I'm just old. I'm not as cool as other people are. Miko says, did it work? <laughs> yes, yes, it did work. Yes, thank you so much for asking the question. It worked. Um, let's see here. Next question. Uh, and I wanna say, is it Ch Chari? Chari says, are there any places I can find cheapish one-third size doll clothes great question i'm glad that i was able to show you my amazon page today because i did actually find some pretty cool things um my girl um ua is actually wearing this set right here and it's really neat because it was 42 bucks at the time and you can go and look this up from pro doll or proud doll and it comes with a wig like a pair of shoes, an outfit, and then like cute, like two cute accessories, like a hat and a bag. And for 42 bucks, it, it's a steal. It's a great deal. And the quality is really, really nice. I did a video on it. Um, you can take a look at it. I think it's stuff I bought off of Amazon or something like that is the video. I'll try to put it in the cards here for you. Um, but yes, that is a great place. Other than that, buying things secondhand are always a wonderful way to get cheaper clothing. 
Um, you can look up marketplaces if you have Den of Angels access or if you are on Facebook. We have a Facebook community called BJD Addicts. Um, you can take a look through there. Um, and yeah, those are good places if you're looking for like cheap, cheap, cheap. Other than that, you would definitely like check out some other places online. But uh, I would start there maybe, you know, take a look there and see what you can find and what you like. Next. Well, let's see here. Select. Oh, and you taught me. You taught me how to say your name. Genera, right? I think is what you said. Because I was saying, I was trying to say it all cool, like Spanish, like Hineta. And then you're like, no, it's not that. Um, what do you think of using binder zipper bags for clothes? Have binders of clothes. I actually thought about that too. Um, I thought about it. And the only thing that I saw that would be kind of like difficult with using like a binder system is that your like your average BJD item, even like just something as simple as like this, like this little tube top, it's gonna it's gonna need to be put into something. So like if you even if you got like the the little like clear like separators, it's gonna start building up on you. So your little binder is gonna get not into becoming a little binder anymore. It's gonna be a big binder. <laughs> so I think it I think it'd be kind of cool though. Um because they also make like in the binder world, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can put into the binders. You know how we have like the trading card sleeves, you know, the ones that are like a full sheet and it has trading card like spaces for your trading cards. I mean, that'd be a really cool one to put some stuff in. Um, you couldn't probably put too big of items like, you know, a SD size shirt. You'd really have to shove it and fold it in there. Um, but other things like maybe you're gonna make, maybe you're gonna make a lingerie binder, you know, and it's gonna have your BJD undies and socks in it. You know, you could do something like that with the card um, sleeves and then put that into a binder. I think that's a great idea. Uh, I just feel like if you try putting clothes, it's gonna get real big real fast, but it could work. And if somebody tries it, please let me know. I would love to see it. Yeesh, 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 yes. Great question. All right, let's see what else we got. Joey says, do you have any dolls for your dolls? <laughs> um, I mean, Technically, no. None of my dolls, like, I don't have, like, a smaller BJD for, like, one of my dolls. Um, but, I mean, I did fall into the trap of, like, oh, my doll needs another doll. Like, a.k.a. Kai needs a little sister. So I got this other doll, and now I ha he has a sister. Or, you know, you do, oh, well, Kai needs a girlfriend. And so you bought another doll just for that purpose yeah I fall I have fallen into that trap that is a trap so no technically not like actual BJDs for my BJDs but BJDs for my BJDs <laughs> that's what it is so that's what it is dash what happened oh mug uh, let's see here I wonder if, if I just close out these questions what happens um what do you consider a staple item for people in the BJD hobby? Like what is the one thing, or what is one thing you think all BJD collectors should have? That's a good one. If you had to pinpoint it to one item. Mmm. I want to say like a reliable carrying case. I think it's really important for people to have like a, some sort of like thing for you to carry your dolls in. Um, not necessarily does it have to be like name brand, but I really think that people should have something to carry their dolls in. Because you never know, like, for example, I've moved so many times. I've moved, like, no joke, like, five times. And most of the times I carried, like, my favorite ones around with me. I didn't put them in storage. My other dolls I put in storage, but my other 
like loved loved ones I took them with me and I had to carry them with me so I had to put them in some sort of you know transport system right so I think having like a good doll bag is like a good thing that everyone should have um, whether you find like a really nice tote that you like to carry them in or if you do actually go the extra mile and buy like a specific like doll bag um, or even if you invest in like something that is like a padded bag um, in our last meetup that we had there was a girl that went there and she had larger dolls like one-third scale size dolls and she had like a camera equipment bag and that's what she used to carry her dolls in and it was so smart because I was like what the heck that's really cool because it was already padded it had like a strap so you could carry it and it was big enough that her large scale dolls could fit in it so I think it's really important to have I think everyone should have some type of bag Great questions. <laughs> okay, I think I have time for one more. One more. Let me see. I like that it kind of, I think it updates. I can't see it. It's so small in my preview. But it says, how many of your dolls have option cards? Sadly, none. Sadly, none. I'm disappointed. None of my dolls have optional parts and it kills me inside. I really want to have optional doll bits from my boys and none of my dolls have them. So I'm really sad about that. I don't know why they don't, but they don't, okay? So I really wish, I kind of just want to buy one, like a larger doll, just for the optional parts. <laughs> and that's a fact, I really do. <laughs> anyway, oh my god. Uh, I just called myself out. Okay, sorry, just kidding. JK for real's last one. Um, Joey says, Is there a doll you wish you had but never got? AG. The end. <laughs> AG, the end. Yeah. He's a, a smart doll. Doll. And I'm really sad about it because I never got him. But that's okay. I'll live. Uh, anyway, oh, I hope you guys had a great uh, session and I hope you guys enjoyed this video about BJD organization and I hope it gave you ideas. Um, please feel free to check out the Amazon link down below that has these suggestions in it. And yeah, good luck with your BJD organizing friends. I really hope that uh, it helps. What the heck? Now you are in here, Emery. Oh my God. Ironic, you said the topic was too small to see. No! Why are you here now? No! Oh my god, I have to go. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you later, Emery. Alright, peeps. Well, I am gonna go ahead and stop talking about optional doll parts because I could sit here talking about that all day. But uh yeah. Hope you guys have a dolly tastic day. Um look forward to some new content coming out, um, including new articles on my blog and a new series I'm gonna start. It's not gonna be a streamed series, it's just gonna be a video series, so Yes, I hope you guys um, enjoy it. And yes, have a dolly-tastic day. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, hope you guys stay safe. And I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye.